Welcome back to Carson Tate's video log. I'm here in sunny Provincetown with Massachusetts author <laughs> Emily Smith. Hi. Say, it, say that word with an M. Say what word? The word I just said. Massachusetts? Yeah. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Say it. Massachusetts. You want to get into the other names of towns and things? Yeah. Probably yeah. Can. Sandwich. <laughs> how, about, how about, how do you say Worcester? Worcester. <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I know. You She's guys right just on. make up ways to pronounce things. We do. Things. We really do. So, um, you ha you just read from your third book, mm -hmm. After the Fire. So I like to give people visual clues so they, okay. you know, can remember the books, and it really helps, I think, if people have these. Tell everybody what you do. What I'm doing? Oh. <laughs> and so I think that, um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't have a mirror, but how's it look? It looks it fantastic. Fantastic. sexy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's what you're going after. Right. <laughs> the plastic fire hat does it for ladies every oh, time. Exactly. Yeah, every time. Ladies are flocking. Yep. I look at they got beating them off with sticks. They're pointing and laughing, but that's okay. <laughs> Allie's ready to run over here right now. I know. <laughs> so tell us about After the Fire. Um, so After the Fire is a book I wrote about um, a uh, paramedic uh, who's on um, the uh, Boston EMS who has had some loss in her life. Um, her firefighter uh, partner, Cam, died about three years before the book takes place. Uh, she died in the line of duty and um, she has sort of been resentful of firefighters ever since then because she feels like they're reckless and um, that Cam made, you know, a bad decision which got herself killed and Connor's very angry about that. Um, because of that, she hasn't really dated anybody since. She's been kind of isolated. Her only real um, companion is her best friend, Jake, who's also her partner on the ambulance, um, who's an EMT. Um, and at the beginning of the book, she meets Logan, who is a hotshot firefighter and of just course. moved to Boston um, and she's kind of a Lothario and hasn't really ever found love before and thinks she never will and very quickly um, Logan is sort of taken with Connor but Connor's very reserved and um, sort of goes through their process and their courtship and Connor dealing with loss and I can't take myself seriously knowing I'm wearing this hat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm taking it very okay, seriously. Okay, good. You're keeping a straight face. Yes, Carson. exactly. Okay. So I think it's perfect. Okay. Um, so isn't that true? Sometimes we're attracted to what we don't want to be attracted to. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Or we definitely. think we don't want to be attracted to. It. Sure. So you were an EMT. Yes. So you, so I found your books. I was not an EMT. However, they feel very authentic. Good. I'm glad to hear that. And so why do you choose to write about? The stuff. I was curious about whether ch people choose to write about what they do or choose not to, and why. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love writing about medicine because I get to combine lesbians and medicine, and it's pretty awesome. It's two of my favorite things. <laughs> um, and actually, I started doing that because I read before I started writing. I read Brad's first responder series, oh, yeah. and was instantly like obsessed with it. And so I really fangirl hard. And I am right now. Okay. <laughs> She's probably around here. She's like, but, <laughs> but I was pretty into that story, and I thought, wow, like what a great way to sort of merge these two worlds. Because I loved reading medical nonfiction and fiction, and um, to be able to sort of add the romance element and then have these female characters. And so I just sort of stuck with it. And yeah, I mean, I write out of my experience, especially sure. this book, a little bit. There's, I, I made a lot of medical songs in this book because that's what I know. Right. I'm not going to write about a lot of fires because I am a firefighter. Um, but because of that, in my experience, um, especially when I write scenes in the ER, it's easy for me to sort of pull from just either things, that, either scenes that I've experienced, like patients that I've come across, or people that I... I've worked with and patients they've come across. So are you working on something now? I am. Awesome. Um, Sandy doesn't know about it yet. Um, it's but a secret. It's a secret. It's not really a secret. Um, I'm working on a third book, <laughs> and actually, um, it takes place, it centers around a secondary character from After the Fire, Galen Burgess, who is an ER resident, um, who is also sort of a Lothario. Yes. Um, very similar. I and remember the character. She's kind of a jerk um, in this first story. But, you know, she comes from a lot of money and uh, sort of like a Harvard, uh, you know, Beacon Hill snob. But um, this sort of is her um, transitional story and sort of she's a surgical resident now. Um, she decided to go to surgery. Um, she's working with her father, who's the chief of the department, and they have a very difficult relationship. And um, she may or may not meet a new intern who may or may not have a boyfriend and has to deal with that. So, I'm about 6,000 words into it, so who knows what's going to happen. I, I'm right there with you. But I started it when I was doing my surgical rotation in school, um, so I was able to sort of pull pieces from that environment, um, and it was just a, it's a fascinating world, that surgery and like the kind of people that go into it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
So um, it's been a lot of fun. And I have friends that are in surgery now, so I'm going to sort of get their two cents on it. Exactly. I personally hate surgery, so but it's fascinating. So awesome. I think I think it'll be interesting once I finish it and get that one. Awesome. So did you say you had a title for that one? Uh, I, it's going to be called The Fledgling. The Fledgling. I, so I love it. I mean, I hope because we'll see what yeah. Sandy says. But, or Shelly, actually. Shelly's the boss. But she's <laughs> all the, the editorial bosses. boss. All, all the all bosses. bosses have to approve. I don't even know. Maybe Bold Strokes won't, you know, approve of it. But we'll see. So yeah, I think I, it's, I doubt that's right. It's right up the alley. So. <laughs> all right. So Emily Smith. You can buy After the Fire Now. What are your other books? Uh, the first one is Searching for Forever. Uh huh. And the second title is Same Time Next Week. Excellent. And those are really, two really good books. Those are helpful. You get to revisit some characters. I really like that. So, okay, Emily Smith. She's a firefighter. Right now. Honorarily. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining me. Thank this you, is Carson. Carson's Video Logs. Thanks so much. Out.